Part three of the application deals with how do you heat your home? As you can see, part three has heating source number one, heating source number two, and electric. In this section, please enter the company or utility name that heats your home. So for, let's say, the city of Minneapolis, I get my natural gas and heating bill from Centerpoint Energy. I'll enter the name on the account and enter the account number. I do receive, since I am in the city of Minneapolis, I do receive a separate electricity bill from Excel Energy. Once that's completed, I will see a question regarding, would you like 30% of your energy assistance benefit paid on your electric bill? This question confuses many people filling out the energy assistance application. The easiest way to look at it is, would I like 30% of my energy assistance grant paid to my electric company? So, if you list a company in the electric section box, 30% of your energy assistance payment will be paid to this company and 70% will be paid to Centerpoint, which I have listed as heating company number one. In many other municipalities or cities, sometimes your heating company and electric company is the same. If that is the case, 100% of the money will go to the company you've listed as heating company number one. Regardless, everyone will receive 100% of the energy assistance money that they have been awarded. So I will click yes. I will like Excel Energy to receive 30% of my energy assistance grant. As we move forward with part three, we will see a question asking to put a one or two by the other heating fuels that we use to heat our home. Just so we remember, heat is what keeps our house warm. Electricity oftentimes is what is used to power our appliances or our lights. So this question we want to know, what is it that is heating us and keeping us warm? In this case, natural gas from Centerpoint Energy is what's keeping my house warm. I do not heat with oil, propane, wood pellets, municipal steam, St. Paul District heating, other biofuels, corn, or electricity. I may have electricity in my home, but that is simply to run my appliances and lights. As we move forward, you'll see a question that say, states, do you heat with wood pellets, corn, or other biofuels? If you are one of the many Minnesotans that do heat with these sources of fuel, please answer the question appropriately. So if yes, you will continue on the short mini questions of three questions to answer. 
what percent of your heat does this supply? And just give a general estimate. So if it's over 50%, 40, please answer. Do you cut your own wood or grow your own fuel corn? Please answer yes or no. And then how many bedrooms are in your house? Moving on. The next section of part three deals with any emergency situations. Please make sure answer this question as to help us determine what type of situation you are currently in. So as you're filling out your energy systems, are you already disconnected? So if you currently have no source of heat or electricity in the house, please enter the company, the disconnection date, and the amount owed. If you still have heat or electricity in your house but you received a disconnection notice, please let us know as this may expedite processing your application. If you cannot pay past due balances or if your fuel tank is empty, please enter the appropriate information. And as always, as you are filling out the energy assistance application, please take time to contact your local utility company to set up a payment plan while we process your application. Finally, as we conclude part three, there will be a question asking, do you use electricity to heat your home? As stated earlier, many homes have electricity. However, many homes use electricity simply for lighting or appliances. But if you are using electricity to stay warm in your house, please take time to answer this question appropriately. So if you did click yes, scroll through and ask yourself, do I have a furnace fan and blower only uh, to heat my home with electricity? Do I use base heaters occasionally as needed? The next question asks, are space heaters the only source of heat for one or many rooms? So if you do have multiple space heaters in your home, this question would be more appropriate for you. And please list the rooms that are being heated. If electricity is used in other ways, such as baseboard heat, in-floor heat, electric furnace or heat pump, please list those also. And if electricity is the only heat source in one particular room, please let us know. And you will see one last question regarding if you want to register to vote or update your registration if you have moved. Please answer that and that will conclude part three.